Hi there, and welcome to this episode of Consciousness Empowerment. That noise was my fridge. It's right here next. <laughs> it's next to the camera, but it is what it is. Here we talk about consciousness, the law of attraction, and how to reach your fucking dreams. Today, I'm going to talk about what resonated with me in Power versus Force. This is going to be a fucking good one. All right. <clears throat> now, I have the levels of consciousness right here. Okay. And he, David Hawkins in the book, talks about having giving meaning to a bum okay from these levels of consciousness okay so i'm gonna start from the bottom and make it very simple positive and negative emotions okay that's all you got to know either you're positive or you're negative that's all you got to know so down here with um anger pride fear desire grief apathy guilt and shame when you see a bum you will probably be scared, right? Be scared of them, be angry, have a negative reaction. Like, why doesn't this guy get a job? Oh, you might get scared. Like, oh, you know, something like that, right? Negative emotions. But when you're up here with courage, neutrality, willingness, acceptance, reason, love, joy, peace, you may have a, you will have a certain, certain interpretation. You might have compassion, right? That's love, compassion, you know, or willingness to go help or, you know, or just acceptance. It is what it is. Or you'll have enlightenment where you understand that that bum or homeless person is you. Because there's only consciousness. In the beginning was the word and the word was God. Consciousness. Okay, mind. Okay, because there's consciousness there for you can think, not because you think your consciousness. Okay, that's another thing. That's another thing that stood out to me. So having this enlightenment, you'll see the bum, and you can say, "That's me having an experience. That's me having an experience." And I love me, I love him, we're all one. And I bless him or her, right? That's so powerful. I don't know why I feel like getting teary eyed. It's amazing. I, I, I've had this realization before because I had a, an experience where I work at a sales place. And I think I, I spoke about this before, you know, I'm kind to everybody and not everybody's kind back. So I had to grapple with this because it kind of made me feel some type of way, like wanting to get that validation back. But that's backwards thinking. That's thinking from the outside in versus in out, right? And during this contemplation, I told myself, these people are me. I didn't understand that there were like in a different level of development on the level of consciousness. I just knew that they were me having a different experience because God is in everything and in everyone. And as Thomas Troward says in the Edinburgh lectures, we are divine mind. Oh, in the Dory lectures, in the, um, the, my mind is a center of divine operation. The divine operation is always for expansion and fuller expression. And this means the production of something beyond what has gone before, something entirely new, not included in the past experience. So everyone is divine mind. Do you think I'm the only divine mind here? Wanting things, wanting sex, wanting money, wanting love, wanting health and fitness and muscles and wanting um, to graduate or you know, having goals. Am I the only one? Of course not. Am I 
the only one going after him? Of course not. But based off how the world looks, I would say that a small percentage are actually going after him. Right? And it goes back to beliefs and having this understanding of consciousness and mind. What you hold in mind will manifest. Okay? And it's best to remove yourself from this duality of like me versus them, good versus evil, you know, bad and good. Like everything just is. And as long as you're focusing on what it is that you want and what's good for you and for all life and society, guess what? You're going to get it. You're going to achieve that goal. Power comes from the positive emotions, courage, neutrality, willingness, acceptance, reason, love, joy, peace, enlightenment. Like the declaration, uh, blah, the declaration of independence. I love that. Life, liberty, happiness, beauty, love, faith, oneness. That's power. oneness we're all one we're all connected this is just an illusion that we're all separated you know we're all here to enjoy life and grow and experience so that's what resonated with me you'll interpret things differently at different levels okay at different levels you can interpret things differently so it behooves you to raise your frequency right now just before this i did a 30 minute kickboxing workout okay just to get my blood flowing, feeling positive and feeling good. For that, I didn't want to work out and I felt low energy, but I brought myself from my idea of, hey, high vibration. I understand, not just know, I understand. So I must move to get my body flowing, to get the energy flowing, to get in a high frequency. And so I therefore I can give back and I can do these videos and I can speak to God because I'm in a high frequency, okay? And that's what stood out to me. Another message to me was always look at things as full, be grateful, right? I just filled up my cup of coffee, has to have some honey in it. I'll put honey while, when I work out because it gives you energy. And they, oh, the workouts are hella bomb, they're really good because you have that extra boost. I had my coffee, heating up and then I poured it in and it filled up. I'm like, Oh my God, I have a full cup of coffee. Thank you. And then, and then the, the thing where I, I don't know what's called pan, the pan that I was heating the water in was empty. And I'm like, okay, it's cool. And then God spoke to me and said, look, this is why I brought you here. You have the gift to see the positive over the negative. And I'm like, okay. And God said, just continue on. Positive. Being in that positive mental attitude and that positive frame of mind is where you're going to receive all your blessings. Because we only have right fucking now. This moment. Okay? To ask yourself, am I aware? And this is the moment. This is the moment that you have. This is consciousness. That's consciousness. That's the power that creates worlds. It doesn't do you any good to know this. It doesn't do you any good to know this. It only does you good if you understand. And you understand by applying. So you wake up every single day at zero because you're just present. Whatever happened in the past, passed. It, it went on already. Now you're here present on earth, ready to create, ready to manifest, ready to experience this world and enjoy it. So that's what resonated with me today. And that's what happened to me today. This oneness, 
this understanding that we're all one, that we're all divine. Everything that we see is spirit. Everything we see is spirit, everything. And spirit is not divided, it is complete, it is whole. God is not two, God is not three, four, five, six, seven, and nine, ten. God is God and God is in all, okay? We, on the other hand, have a individual mind and are experiencing the world, the physical world, to have fun, basically, to learn and develop, just like a plant grows and develops, okay? That's why we're here. And to ask yourself, write down questions. Why am I here? What is my purpose? What do I love? And it'll come to you. It'll come to you, okay? Uh, so that's it for today. Always look at the cup as full. 25% full, 30% full or full. Look at things in the positive. Always look at things at the positive. Raise your frequency to working out, meditation, gratitude, giving back. Those feelings that you'll get from giving back when somebody appreciates you. Of course, you don't do it just to get the appreciation. No, no, you do it just to give back because you understand the laws. You understand. Okay. You understand. For example, this is, this is my understanding. So to give back, right? To get more money, I donate. Like I mentioned in the last video, I donate. So I look at maybe a check that I get and donate 10%. Okay, 10%, bam, gave it away. This is understanding the laws of the universe. Okay, you get, what you put out, you get back tenfold or even more, hundredfold. It's up to the universe. Okay, but if you give, then like, okay, now give me something, give me something, like, give me a smile, give me a, give me a thank you card. That's not giving. That's coming from a different place. Okay, I can't even vibrate at that place right now because I'm so high now. So just give because it's the, you're giving from the kindness and the love of your heart, okay? And I hope you like this one. This one's going to be titled something to the effect of how levels of consciousness give meaning to your life. Or something like that. I love you. Until next time, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If this helped you, share it with somebody. Share it with somebody that you love, okay? Till next time, I love you. Peace.